Hey there again, Matthew McDonald here. This is a really easy video. I'm just gonna walk you through the process of how to search uh, for your leads. Uh, you might already know how to do it, but hey, let's do a quick video on it. Make sure you're doing it the right way. So now we can search for all our leads right from inside our WordPress admin. How convenient is that? We've installed it here, we've activated following the previous videos, and we just head over to WP Instant Leads, and we enter our keyword. When you enter your keyword, you wanna include the location. You can do it either way. And also, you might get better results with singular search. For instance, searching for restaurant instead of restaurants, unless you're looking for an index. So for instance, if we're looking for restaurants in the New York region, you could just type in either restaurant New York or New York restaurant. And depending on your package, you'll have different options for how many leads you can generate. All we do is click get instant leads now and let WP Instant Leads do all the work for you. Here we go, here's our results. And as different businesses list their services on Facebook, then it's not compulsory for them to enter their contact details, but what you'll find that most of them will have phone numbers and many of them will have the email address as well. So here's all the different results that we've got. If you click the title of the business, it'll show you their Facebook page, which is really nice and handy. Then we've got the address there and a phone number. If they're providing an email, it'll find the email for you and put it here. And here also, these guys have a website. So you can click through and take a look at that website. Now, if you are going through different regions for restaurants, for instance, what you can do is you can narrow these searches down like, Chinese restaurant, Italian restaurant, or different types of cuisine, and you'll find you get really targeted results and you can actually get a lot more results. Also, New York is a really big area, so you could narrow down to Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, and get more specific with your results. Now we've also, under actions here, we've got an option to remove results that we don't like. Let's say, for instance, you are looking for email addresses. Well, you could go through here and remove, just by clicking remove, all the ones without an email address. Just clicking that, going through like that. You go all the way through the leads, and then down the bottom here, you click export. When you export this, it'll export into a CSV file, which if you're on a Mac, it'll probably open up in numbers. If you're on a window, it's gonna open up in Excel sheet. And with that, you can go through those leads. It's also a great way to ar archive your leads, add extra notes, and also you can send those leads to different people on your team. So that's pretty much it. If you're an advanced user, you can go to the configuration options here and you can set up your own Facebook app access token. Now the way I designed this plugin was to make it extremely easy and for you to start using it straight away without messing around with access tokens and app IDs and those sort of things. So you can do that. But if you're a more advanced user, you can go ahead and add your own Facebook app access token. And what I'll do, I'll add another video where I'll cover that for the advanced users.